The proximal end is the upper portion of the tibia. It is slightly larger in the size than the distal part. The upper end contains four important bony features. The medial condyle, the lateral condyle, the intercondylar fossa, and the tibial tuberosity. This is the medial condyle. It is involved in the formation of the knee joint. The lateral condyle which contains Gerdes tubercle, which is the site of attachment for ITT, and ITT stands for iliotibial tract. If it is rooted the tibia to look the superior surface of medial and lateral condyle, see these surfaces are articular. The articular surfaces are those which join with the other bones. So these surfaces will articulate with the lower end of the femur at the level of knee joint. In between the two condyles are present the intercondylar fossa or areas, which contain intercondylar eminence. This eminence divides the intercondylar areas into anterior and the posterior one. Now several muscles and ligaments attaches to these areas. There is a mnemonic for the attachments of the intercondylar areas, so that you can learn it easily. Let me check who is the master of the civil law. The mnemonic for the muscle and ligament attachments to the posterior intercondylar area is Let me check. Now L stand for lateral meniscus, M for medial meniscus and C for the cruciate ligament. Now remember from this posterior that this all the posterior horns of lateral, medial and cruciate ligament attaches to the posterior intercondylar area. Mnemonic for the muscle attachments of the anterior intercondylar area is master of Sevilla. M for medial meniscus, C for crochet ligament and L for lateral meniscus. Remember from this anterior that anterior part of all these muscles and ligament attaches to anterior intercondylar area. See how it is easier to remember. The fourth structure of the upper end is the tibial tuberosity that can be viewed from the anterior aspect. It gives attachment to the patellar ligament and is palpable below the knee. It is also used to determine the side of the tibia bone like I have already told you before.